What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 adjectives that contain the word minded. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's get into it. So, minded means having a certain kind of mind and it's used in combination with another adjective that goes before. The first adjective on my list today is like-minded. Like-minded. We use it to describe people who share the same opinions, ideas or interests. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, surround yourself with like-minded people when you're chasing your dreams. Surround yourself with like-minded people when you're chasing your dreams. And one more example, social media makes it easier to meet like-minded people. Social media makes it easier to meet like-minded people. Now let's move on to our second adjective, single-minded. Single-minded. It means a person who is very determined to achieve something. And now, two examples. The first one, I'm single-minded when it comes to achieving my objectives. I'm single-minded when it comes to achieving my objectives. And you, are you single-minded? And one more example, he's single-minded in pursuit of success. He's single-minded in pursuit of success. Let's move on to our third adjective, open-minded. Open-minded. We use this adjective to describe someone who is willing to consider or accept ideas and opinions that are new or different from their own. And now, a few examples. The first one, traveling makes you more open-minded. Traveling makes you more open-minded. And the second example, the government is open-minded about clean energies. The government is open-minded about clean energies. Let's move on to our fourth adjective, closed-minded or close-minded. We can use it with D at the end or without. And it's the opposite of open-minded. So it's someone who is not willing to accept or consider ideas and opinions that are different from their own. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, don't try to change his mind. He's very close-minded. Don't try to change his mind. He's very close-minded. And one more example, James is rather close-minded due to the fact that he's never been abroad. James is rather close-minded due to the fact that he's never been abroad. Number five, narrow-minded. Narrow-minded. It's a synonym of closed-minded. And now, two examples. The first one, the boss has a reputation for being narrow-minded. I'm sure he won't be interested in your suggestions. The boss has a reputation for being narrow-minded. I'm sure he won't be interested in your suggestions. And one more example, we don't usually see eye to eye because he's so narrow-minded. We don't usually see eye to eye because he's so narrow-minded. He have got a C2 idiom to see eye to eye, which means to agree with someone. And guys, before we continue and learn five more minded adjectives, just a super quick reminder 
please make sure you subscribe to English Beats if you like this channel and remember to press the bell icon. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson, our adjective number six, absent-minded. Absent-minded. It's a person who tends to forget things. And it's a synonym of scattered-brained or forgetful. And now let's look at two examples. My friend usually forgets to answer my texts as she's absent-minded. My friend usually forgets to answer my texts as she's absent-minded. And one more example. Sorry, I forgot to wish you a happy birthday. Don't take it to heart. I'm absent-minded. Sorry, I forgot to wish you a happy birthday. Don't take it to heart. I'm absent-minded. Number seven, simple-minded. Simple-minded. It's someone who is not very intelligent and is not able to understand complicated things. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, he's simple-minded without any desire to learn something new. He is simple-minded without any desire to learn something new. And one more example, her article had a simple-minded approach to the issue. Her article had a simple-minded approach to the issue. Number eight, fair-minded. Fair-minded. It's someone who treats everyone equally and fairly. And now, a few examples. The first one, he's fair-minded and can tolerate injustice. He's fair-minded and can tolerate injustice. And one more example, she's a fair-minded mother who doesn't have a favorite child. She's a fair-minded mother who doesn't have a favorite child. Two more to go, number nine, high-minded. High-minded. It's someone who has strong moral principles. And now, two examples. The first one, the mayor would never accept a bribe. He's high-minded. The mayor would never accept a bribe. He's high-minded. And one more example, I was surprised when Lisa and Sean accepted Anne's indecent offer. I thought they were high-minded. I was surprised when Lisa and Sean accepted Anne's indecent offer. I thought they were high-minded. This example is based on the series that I'm watching right now. It's called What If? And the main character is played by Renee Zellweger, who is willing to prevent Lisa's company from going under on one condition, to spend one night with her husband. It's a very gripping series that I recommend watching. I really like it. One phrase of verb, to go under, means to become bankrupt. And last but not least, the British adjective bloody-minded. Bloody-minded. It means a very stubborn person who makes things difficult for other people. And now, two examples. The first one, stop being so bloody-minded and turn that music down. Stop being so bloody-minded and turn that music down. And one more example, her boss is bloody-minded and is giving her a hard time. Her boss is bloody-minded and is giving her a hard time. And here we've got one more C2 idiom to give someone a hard time, which means to make things difficult 
or unpleasant for someone. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. And if you want to learn mind idioms, I've got two videos on mind idioms that you can check out right here. And guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to like this lesson, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!